And I tell the story that when I was in the second grade, I went to see the Ailey Company um, on a school trip, right? And went home and choreographed uh, a dance in this chair to Nikki Giovanni's, my father's house, right? Because I was like, oh, you can make a dance about God and people, right? In second grade, I make this piece. So, but I was still scared to take dance classes, right? But my mom was like, boy, stop moving my furniture around. If you break something, you have to pay for it. I said, mommy, I'm a little boy. I'm eight years old, right? Um, she took me to a dance class, but there was like, I said, mommy, there's 90 girls, right? So I fought her, fought her, fought her. Um, and so then finally, when I went to high school, started doing musicals and was headed to be a journalist, gave up the scholarship to study dance because I realized at 16, I couldn't dance, right? So I'm starting late, looking to see, okay, what is, what's out there? Who's doing what? And I didn't really recognize real people on stage. So I talked to some big brothers in the circle of writers that I was in, um, and listening to Audre Lorde, this incredible activist, asking the audience, are you doing your work, right? And so now I'm 18 years old, right? Like, shucks, what is my work? Turn to a big brother and say, I know I just started learning how to dance, but I think I want to start a dance company. He says, well, who's going to tell your grandmother's stories, right? So then there's like, ah, uh, those two things. And then thankfully another big brother said, maybe your work is in dance, right? So then I look back and say, okay, so it's Mr. Ailey who let me know that you could make dance about people. You have Catherine Dunn who said, you can look, dance has to be, um, can be um, anthropology, right? really um, excavating who we are. Because of the time period they were in, I don't have to have Western dance be the foundation. I can have traditional dance be the foundation and then have all of these different techniques, Western dance, dance from Cuba, from Haiti, right, and show um, who we are. Right? I start to write to help me understand what the idea is. Sometimes it's essays, sometimes it's poetry. Um, looking, at, looking for images, looking at films, right? I share all of that stuff with the dancers and then I'm looking for music to help me dance out those images, right? And sometimes the images I think belong to this piece and maybe it's, it's something else. Then I just kind of file it away. And then I take all that information into the studio and I improvise. And the dancers have to follow me. They don't come in with anything set except for the images and they know that I have to go into a zone to find out what the truth is. And then I kind of um, organize it. So they know, okay, if it, after he repeats it, five, ten times, and I just step back because I'm done. And then I look to see, okay, so what is it? And then I start to organize it, pretty much like a writer. So I have a phrase that becomes a sentence, a paragraph, and then a chapter, and then we just move on until I think it's finished. Well, it's all coming from him. <laughs> it's all coming from the most high, right? But, I, I mean, I, tr I trust them, so once I give it to them, it's theirs. So in the piece that we're doing tonight, Incidents, right, which was inspired by wondering how the remnants of the slave trade lived in women's bodies, right? That was the idea, okay? So I read Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl and all of these, this uh, collection of narratives, bullet days. So I make this solo about Harriet Jacobs, basically living in the ceiling, in, in the space between the ceiling and the roof, so that she could watch her children grow up, but she didn't want to be continually abused by her master, right? And so um, I built this solo on Angelica Edwards in 98. Right? So it's been passed down, passed down. Now Monique Roberts is doing the solo. And we talk about it, right? Give her all the information, right? How you walking down the street, the space when she, you're being violated. And we can, I can coach her through it, but how she embodies it and takes it, I can't. <laughs> Right? I can't give that to her, I can't do it. And so for me, that's where the collaboration happens. Where I give them inf information to them and they take it somewhere that, that I could not. 